Hey, what up, y'all? It's Metal Four back for more to kick the rock. Represent everyone's you and I verse. So we're gonna do a video on uh, Capricorn rising, which is Libra in the tenth house, right? So Libra in the tenth house is initiating, creating a new way of you know relating and communicating, right? So <clears throat> it's like an air house, right? So <clears throat> your tenth house is all about your status, your blueprint, things you're known for, right? It's funny. I had just made a video over in this other area. You see what I'm saying? Homeboy of the was full. It wasn't fucking with me. It's, it is what it is. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to give you a little background. You see what I'm saying? Got a little little river thing going on. <clears throat> but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got my little setup. You know what I mean? You dig? But yeah. So, uh, Capricorn rising, a Libra in the 10th house, is like, <clears throat> to explain your 10th house aspect of it, it's all about the business and, you know, your blueprint and things you're known for, like I said earlier, right? So things you're known for, it's like, <clears throat> if you want to be all about your business, you're going to relate to everybody. You see what I'm saying? Capricorn can initiate and create the earth, right? That's your personal life. You do that automatically, right? But if you want to focus more on your 10th house, it's all about <clears throat> initiating, creating a new way of communicating with people, right? So instead of just making sense out of it, like, oh, like, can I get this money out of this person? You see what I'm saying? That's that earth aspect. Or could I, like, you know, make a plan with this individual? No, I just relate, just communicate. You see what I'm saying? You're automatically gonna make sense to an individual due to you having this motherfucking uh, Capricorn rising, right? <clears throat> but it's like, you see, the 10th house and the first house is a square. So it's a 90 degree angle. So it's like a, a, a hard angle, you dig? So <clears throat> with this aspect, it's all like, you have a, you know, a kind of a pressure between communicating with people or just making sense out of it. Like, do I just want to, you know, make somebody laugh and actually like bring the best out of an individual, like this Capricorn individual, or just like, you know, let a person be Libra, you know, just create balance. So it's like, <clears throat> it's like kind of interesting because you think about Capricorn, your, uh, <clears throat> your ruling planet is motherfucking Saturn, right? So Saturn is automatically about building. It's like, <clears throat> You know, if you put your Saturn blocks on top of each other, it's like, I like to how uh, they build a masonry. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you build a brick house, you dig? So, <clears throat> fucking, you think about it this way, you don't actually want to initiate somebody into the motherfucking brick house. You just want to communicate with them. You just want to relate. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you figure out who's actually for you. You see what I'm saying? That's what like the key with Libra is. Libra figure out who for them, who is for them, I mean to say and actually can uh, bring out the best in the individual. You see what I'm saying? Bring that balance out. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, we can relate on this aspect of me. You see what I'm saying? With this individual. And then, then, you know, I have other aspects of myself that I can relate with other individuals. You see, Libra just initiates. So it's like, you just want to adapt to a circumstance. That's what Capricorn is all about, really. So it's like, you could think about this square, like your personal life. If you want to be all about your personal business, you see what I'm saying? Just make yourself comfortable. You would actually just initiate conversation when it actually relates to you. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, if you want to be on just the business tip, you already have everything structured. You see what I'm saying? I like to how they got it in this world. I got a lot of things structured. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's like that Saturn ruler. So <clears throat> you just want to build your business. You see what I'm saying? Like you already have your blueprint mapped out. You know what you mean? Uh, you know what I mean? You already have maybe your money allocated, your liquid assets, whoever you want to you know, call that. You see what I'm saying? As well as, you know, where you want to put those liquid assets. And you already know where they're going to go in the next 20, 20 years. You see what I'm saying? They know, you already know where your kids are going to have this money. You see what I'm saying? You already got like some skills mapped out that they could go to if they don't want to, you know, uh, you know, do their own kind of thing. You see what I'm saying? If they kind of want to build off yours a little bit and learn some things first and then boom, they could do whatever they want, then cool. You see what I'm saying? Um, I, you know, this is a whole other thing, but I think it's good for like kids to do whatever they want to do. You dig? But yeah, Capricorn, uh, like I say, is like uh, Saturn ruled, right? So <clears throat> Saturn's like a, like the first kind of farther away planet, you know, it's like a three, two and a half, three year cycle, you know what I mean? Due to retrogrades and shit like that. Um, you know, uh, don't quote me completely on that. I'm, I'm still building on motherfucking the, the periods. Cause it's like, I know that, uh, like, you know, Pluto's our farthest planet, you see what I'm saying? And then you got motherfucking, uh, Neptune right beside that, you know, Saturn's kind of a little bit, uh, further away from it. You know I mean? Jupiter's a little bit closer than, than Saturn is to the sun, things of that nature. You know, that's a whole nother conversation. Like I say, but yeah, um, you know, it does pertain to some, uh, some Capricorn shit. So it's like, 
if you guys can relate on astrology, then boom, talk about that. You see what I'm saying? But if it's just like all business, then be all business. You know what I'm saying? I, I know every Capricorn rising is, is already picking up what I'm putting down. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> but yeah, uh, you know, um, you want to create balance though. It's like, don't call people out. You see what I'm saying? You want to kind of like let it be equilibrium if you're just trying to, you know, just make nice with people. You see what I'm saying? If you're trying to Libra it, you know what I mean? Uh, hey. Libra's on some different shit. I'm just gonna keep it, keep it real with you. You know what I mean? Hey, watch out, <laughs> watch out. Libra get you in trouble. So it's like you just gotta create balance. So don't be, don't be doing too much. Don't be extra. You know what I mean? I, I already know y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, trust. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, have a good one, y'all. You know, um, if you're all about your business, then be on your Libra tip. If you're all about your um, personal life, you know what I mean? So like, if you're still getting your business straight and you're trying to figure yourself out, just be on that. Like, you know. 10th house aspect of like i'm still building my business so i'm trying to learn with people you know what i mean and like whatever i actually feel comfortable with talking about then boom we're gonna talk about that and then if not <clears throat> you're gonna be more on the tip like okay i already got my business figured out i know what i'm doing in the next 20 years of my life you see what i'm saying i don't really got to talk to everybody i already know what i want to do and i already got people in place you see what i'm saying if you want to people in place capricorn then you see what i'm saying might want to be talking to some more people but yeah just uh, uh give, give you all a little lowdown on that but yeah um have a good one everybody and uh you know it's it's real early you see what i'm saying where i'm at but yeah i don't know everybody might not be rocking with people making videos outside of their house hey, it is what it is you see what i'm saying it's everybody's world you see what i'm saying i ain't on nobody porch <laughs> you did shouts out to the river you see what i'm saying Shouts out to the Indians that was going on that motherfucking river. Can you think about that? You know what I'm saying? That's some other shit. But yeah, have a good one, y'all. Peace.